Hi, this is Donald Schultz from Imagine It. And today I want to show you some new things on the wiki pages. The uh, wiki pages now support mermaid diagrams as of the Sprint 158, which was dropped on uh, September 23rd. We'll talk a little about what those mermaid diagrams are. Over the years, um, the wiki has really uh, improved and expanded and, and really grown up into a fairly powerful tool. I, I love their wiki. I use it a lot for just capturing data, even capturing things on technology that I'm learning and stuff like that. I, I, just, I keep pages of tips and things that I've kind of learned. So let's start off by, I've got this empty wiki page here. I'm just gonna click on the edit button so we can actually get into doing some things with it. The uh, mermaid diagrams are part of this. You see this little uh, icon on the, on the editing screen. This will actually insert a mermaid diagram. And these are things like flow charts, um, could be sequence tables, all sorts of things. In fact, if we go to this page here, https mermaidjs.github.io, we've got a number of different examples in on these pages of the various types of charts. We've got a little simple flow chart. We've got a sequence diagram in here. We've got a Gantt chart, uh, even a class diagram, a Git graph. Um, just a lot of interesting things. So let's let's try and uh, build some of these on this uh, wiki page. So let's uh, create an uh, an additional one here, like rather than just the default one here. Let's uh, take all of this out of here, and let's do a um, graph. TD. A going over to B. A going over to C. And then B going over to D. and C going over to D. Okay, so you'll notice that on the right side, which is the preview screen, you really see anything until we actually save this, close it, and then take a look at it. So I'm going to save this, changes, and then we're gonna close this up. And there we see the, the initial one that was actually created just from the clicking on that button. And there again, it'll actually show you exactly where the open source project of Mermaid is. And in it, it's actually at that site, you also see there's a lot of different uh, examples of types of flowcharts you can actually implement and uh, examples of exactly how they implemented them. So it's a great little tool. I'm going to really use this, I'm, I'm sure. Before, I've actually used to put them inside of a Word document or something and link it to some of my work items, but now I can actually stick it right in my wiki pages for that repository and stuff like that. So it's, this is going to be uh, really cool. I think I'm going to really enjoy this, and I hope that you'll enjoy this as well too. Thank you.